So here we are on board HMS Queen Elizabeth and along with HMS Monmouth, the task group is still here in Florida. We're keeping a close eye this week on Hurricane Florence, which is due to come in this week and smash the east coast of the USA. Joining me now is P.O. James Jones, who's one of our meteorologists here on board. Uh, P.O. Jones, explain to me just how bad this is going to be. Uh, so th this is uh, Hurricane uh, Florence, it's uh, going to be a Category 4 as it uh, reaches landfall. Still uh, quite uh, don't know where that is going to uh, hit landfall yet, but we're uh, closely monitoring it um, as we go. So Category 4, it's 120 uh, miles per hour winds and uh, that's going to cause extensive uh, sort of damage, uh, uprooting trees and some power surges uh, as well with that. Uh, it's currently 520 nautical miles wide and still uh, increasing. Uh, that's going to increase uh, some heavy uh, sea states and swells, so uh, this is where we'll be uh, monitoring it and uh, avoiding it. So how does the Royal Navy use this information to help our planning? Uh, so we, what we do is collate all the uh, atmosphere information and oceanography uh, sort of work and uh, we'll uh, decide where these higher sea states are and uh, where, the, where it's safe to sort of go uh, to avoid those high winds and high sea states. And that's key, we will do what we can to keep this ship safe. Now this is the most technologically advanced warship ever built for the Royal Navy, but this really just goes to show that we're still very much controlled by Mother Nature.